Wife disappears every day. Then husband secretly follows her and realizes why. It was mid-July when Paul first noticed the subtle change in Hannah's daily routine. Their life together had always been one of harmony, built around familiarity and respect for each other's space. Hannah, an artist by passion and a homemaker by choice, was often engrossed in her little hobbies or out running errands for their home. Yet, lately, Paul couldn't help but sense a slight alteration in this familiar rhythm. Hannah, he observed, had begun to disappear during the day. The first couple of times, he simply dismissed it as Hannah being Hannah. Perhaps she'd found a new craft store to explore or a new artistic endeavor that required solitude. But the days rolled into weeks and the pattern persisted. Every day, just after lunch, Hannah would dress in her soft floral dresses, wear that subtle hint of rose on her cheeks, and disappear with a mysterious smile that was both intriguing and puzzling. Paul was not an overly suspicious man. He trusted his wife, respected her privacy, but curiosity has a curious way of making itself heard. When he casually asked her one evening about her daytime outings, her evasive response made him pause. She simply smiled, her blue eyes reflecting an unreadable emotion, and said, Just some errands, dear. This didn't feel like her usual errands. They never required such predictable and consistent absences. His wife was never a creature of strict routines, which is why the regularity of her absences seemed so out of character. Each day, like clockwork, Hannah would disappear for three to four hours. His gentle probes always met with evasive answers and the secret smile that Hannah seemed to reserve for these moments. The mystery began to gnaw at Paul's mind, giving a birth to a mix of emotions, concern, confusion, and a hint of suspicion. Hannah was not one to harbor secrets, or so he thought. He was certain that there was nothing malicious in her actions, yet he couldn't shake off the growing sense of intrigue. His curiosity was now a wild horse, rearing and demanding to be untamed. The pieces of the puzzle were not fitting in, and the uncertainty was unsettling. It was unlike Hannah, this mystery, this continuous evasion. He loved his wife dearly and knew her to be a woman of kindness and compassion, yet this new facet of her life was hidden from him, and it was the exclusion that had added a disquieting note to his thoughts. Paul decided it was time to quell his racing mind. He needed to understand, to know where Hannah went each day, disappearing like the morning mist and returning with the scent of the unseen on her. Little did he know that the mystery would unfold a tale that would forever change their lives, deepening his love for Hannah and introducing them to a world of compassion and silent sacrifices that lay beyond their comfortable existence. For several days, the conundrum of Hannah's mysterious absences had tormented Paul. The element of the unknown gnawed at him, fraying his nerves and whittling away his peace of mind. So one afternoon, spurred by a mixture of curiosity and concern, he took a decision that went against his nature. He decided to follow his wife. As he saw Hannah get ready to leave, a pang of guilt seared through him. This felt like a betrayal, a violation of the trust and privacy that had been the cornerstone of their relationship. But worry was a persistent companion, its clamoring louder than the voice of guilt. So, with a heavy heart, he watched from a distance as Hannah, radiant as ever, stepped out of their house. He kept a careful distance, staying far enough not to arouse suspicion, yet close enough to not lose sight of her. He watched as Hannah moved through the bustling streets, her familiar grace standing out amidst the city's chaos. Paul had always marveled at how his wife carried an aura of tranquility around her, a soothing presence in the hustle and bustle of life. Today was no different. His footsteps echoed hers, moving away from the heart of the city towards its periphery, a realm marked by aged structures and forgotten lanes. A wave of surprise washed over him when Hannah stopped before an old, dilapidated house. It stood there like a relic from a bygone era, a symbol of stories untold, its glory faded and hidden beneath layers of time. His heart pounded in his chest as he watched Hannah step inside the crumbling structure her silhouette disappearing behind the heavy wooden door. 
Questions whirled around in his mind like a tempest. What connection could Hannah have with this place? Who lived in this forgotten corner of the city? And why was his wife drawn to it? Despite the tempest of questions, he hesitated, his feet rooted to the ground. Part of him longed to confront her, to question her, to make sense of this unfolding mystery. Yet he chose to hold back. His love for Hannah, his respect for her, stilled his steps, whispering to him to wait, to let the story unfold at its pace. As he stood there in the shadow of the old dilapidated house, a realization dawned upon him. This wasn't about suspicion or mistrust. This was about understanding, about sharing, about stepping into part of his wife's life he had been unaware of. As the evening sun cast long shadows over the forgotten corners of the city, Paul made a silent promise. He would not invade Hannah's secret world rashly. He would wait for her to invite him in. Until then, he would stand by, a silent guardian, a patient confidant, honoring the love and trust that had been the bedrock of their life together. The next day, as the afternoon sun draped the city in its warm glow, Paul found himself once again trailing Hannah, this time with a determination to uncover the secret that lay within the crumbling walls of the old house. A sense of resolve replaced his initial guilt as he walked through the same forgotten lanes, leading him back to the dilapidated structure. He waited a few minutes after Hannah had entered before he summoned the courage to follow her. Quietly, he pushed open the heavy wooden door, stepping into a world frozen in time. The house, despite its worn-out appearance, possessed a certain charm and melancholic beauty that lay in its silence and memories etched onto its peeling walls. His heart hammered in his chest as he moved further into the house. The silence of the house was broken by a soft, melodious hum coming from one of the rooms. He recognized it immediately. It was Hannah's voice. Guided by the comforting sound, he made his way to the source. The sight that greeted him was a revelation, a tableau of compassion that warmed his heart and watered his eyes. There in the dimly lit room was Hannah, tending to an elderly, frail-looking man with the gentlest touch. The man, Mr. Thompson, as he later learned, was an embodiment of age and solitude, living in near destitution. Hannah moved around with a practiced ease, helping Mr. Thompson with his meal, tidying up the room, and occasionally pausing to share a story or a warm laugh. Her face reflected a tranquility and joy that Paul had seen only when she was deeply involved in her art, it was the joy of giving, of sharing, of caring. Yet amidst the warmth, confusion clouded Paul's mind. How did Hannah know Mr. Thompson? What tied her to this old forgotten man living on the fringes of society? He was torn between his longing to understand and the touching scene that was unfolding before him. His wife, his beautiful, compassionate Hannah, had been carrying this profound secret close to her heart. She'd been silently playing the role of a caretaker, a friend to this lonely old man who had nothing but the echoes of the past for company. As he quietly retreated from the house, leaving Hannah and Mr. Thompson to their afternoon routine, Paul carried with him a deeper admiration for his wife. Despite the mystery that still loomed, he felt a warmth spreading in his chest. His wife's compassion was an unspoken poem, a melody that whispered tales of selfless love and humanity. Hannah had always been a woman of substance, her kindness and compassion reaching out to touch lives. But today, Paul had seen a new depth to that compassion, an intensity that left him awestruck. Despite the confusion that wrapped his mind, he knew one thing for certain. He was immensely proud of his wife, and he loved her, perhaps even more deeply now, for the beautiful secret that she had unveiled. The revelation of Hannah's secret had added a new layer to Paul's understanding of his wife. As days turned into weeks, he silently observed her routine, his admiration for her growing. However, the cloud of confusion refused to dissipate completely. One evening, he decided it was time to address the elephant in the room. Sitting together in the comfort of their home, the soft glow of the setting sun casting a golden aura around them, Paul gathered his thoughts. He reached out, gently taking Hannah's hands into his own. Her eyes, sparkling with unshed tears, met his. Hannah, he began, his voice a gentle whisper, I know about Mr. Thompson. 
The silence that followed was deafening. Hannah's grip tightened on his hands, her eyes wide with surprise and fear. Seeing her reaction, he quickly added, And I admire you. I admire your kindness, your compassion, but I'm confused, love. I don't understand why you kept this from me. As the words sunk in, Hannah exhaled a long breath, her shoulders sagging as though a great weight had been lifted. There was relief in her eyes, but also a hint of sadness, a melancholic glint that tugged at Paul's heart. In a soft voice, barely above a whisper, she began to tell her tale. Mr. Thompson, she explained, reminded her of her late father. Her father, a hard-working man of great integrity, had lived his last days in a similar state, old, disabled, and lonely. She told him about the helplessness she felt when her father passed away, leaving behind an ocean of unfilled responsibilities and a heart filled with regret. Helping Mr. Thompson, Hannah confessed her voice shaking with emotion, is my way of making amends, of keeping my father's memory alive. He reminds me so much of Dad, Paul. The way he smiles, the way he tells his stories, even his stubbornness. Every moment with him is like being with Dad all over again. As she narrated her story, Paul could see the raw emotions play out on her face. Guilt, longing, relief, and above all, love. His heart ached for his wife, for the silent struggle she had been enduring. His confession dissipated, replaced with a profound respect for the woman he loved. The sun had set, and the room was enveloped in a soft, comforting darkness. In the quiet, the bond between Hannah and Paul strengthened, woven with threads of shared secrets and mutual respect. Paul's heart swelled with admiration for his wife, her compassion, now an inseparable part of their shared narrative. While he wished she had shared her burden sooner, he respected her reasons. As they sat in the quiet embrace of the evening, he held Hannah close, offering her his silent support. This was a journey they would now embark on together, their love deepened by the shared understanding and mutual respect. Hannah's confession had unveiled a world that had been unknown to Paul. Her secret, though laden with emotional turmoil, resonated deeply within him moving him to his core. In the quiet aftermath of her revelation, he made a decision. He would not just stand by her side, he would join her. Embracing the spirit of their shared purpose, they embarked on their new journey. Every day, hand in hand, they would visit Mr. Thompson. Paul found himself drawn to the old man's stories, his humor, his resilience. He found himself admiring not only his wife's generosity, but also the strength of the man who had unknowingly become a part of their lives. Together, they worked tirelessly to improve Mr. Thompson's living conditions. They cleared the clutter in the old house, bringing a semblance of order to his chaotic world. They found local resources that could support him, arranged for regular checkups, groceries, and even some company from community volunteers. Each day spent in service was a day spent in understanding each other better, in witnessing aspects of each other they hadn't seen before. Their relationship was no longer just about them. It had expanded to include the well-being of another. This shared purpose breathed new life into their love, creating a bond that was deeper and stronger. The experience was transformative, not just for them as a couple, but also for Mr. Thompson. The old man, who had been surviving in near isolation, was now thriving. His house, once a symbol of desolation, now resonated with laughter, love, and life. His eyes, once clouded with loneliness, now sparkled with gratitude and joy. In their journey, Paul and Hannah found an enriched sense of love and commitment. They realized that their bond, their love, was not a static entity confined to their shared world. It was a dynamic capable of encompassing others, of lighting up lives. As the sun set each day, painting the sky with shades of orange and purple, they returned home, their hearts filled with a satisfaction that only giving could provide. Their life had taken on a new rhythm, a beautiful melody composed of love, compassion, and shared responsibilities. The story of Paul, Hannah, and Mr. Thompson concluded not with an end, but with a beginning, a beginning of a renewed relationship, of a life filled with shared purpose, and of a world that was a bit kinder, a bit warmer. It was a tale that spoke volumes about love's power to transcend personal realms and touch lives, about the beauty of shared burdens, and about the remarkable spirit of human kindness. It was a tale of hope, 
a reminder that every act of kindness, no matter how small, makes the world a better place.